Hey, welcome back to 2DG for uh, another beer review just for you. Another one. Yeah. So what do we got today? Today we have Founders Breakfast Stout. All right. The original. The original. None of the variants. <laughs> but it's okay. All right. Founders out of? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michigan. Pretty close to us. It is. Hours. Not too bad. Yeah. We need to go up there, though. We haven't even gone up there. I'd like to go up there. Yeah, we need to go. Yeah. But anyway, let's get this one cracked up. Let's just do it. It is stout season, so let's get to it. It is stout season. That's a title of stouts. I love good stouts. How about that? Well, no one likes it bad. Right. But there's a difference. Yeah. We're going to tell you if this one cuts the mustard. <laughs> All right, let's get a pour and see how it looks. Oh, wow. It's dark, but it's not black. Yeah. Nice caramel. I was going to say, nice carbonation level, too. Nice golden, I mean golden. Yep. Nice uh, dark caramel colored head, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine's gone. <laughs> um, interesting <clears throat> fact, um, Michigan actually changed their label, um, yeah. which is the state they're out of, uh, to no longer include the baby on there, which is weird. I think it's just a picnic table now or something like that. I don't know. Uh, and you know what? There's a baby. Um, but I'm Meal. sure... Meal. Yeah, but if if any, see, I'm old enough to remember this, but Van Halen 1984 album came out in 1984. Really? It had a baby on the cover, and actually it was, I think, an angel, wasn't it? I don't know when the last. And was. had a cigarette. Oh my goodness, the people who became outraged that you would say it was a baby. Well, number one, it wasn't. It was an angel. Number two, actually, it would have been a cherub. But I've never seen a baby with wings. Right. Exactly. Number two. Van Halen just countered and said, no, they're candy cigarettes. Yeah, Might be why they're so hard to find now, but <laughs> probably along the same vein. They got if you have any candy cigarettes, go ahead and send them to us. <laughs> hey, so anyway, <laughs> here we go. Right off the bat. It's uh, it's dark as hell. Um, um, it actually didn't look as dark mm. pouring, but I see nothing around the yeah, edges. The Maybe light on the edges are at the bottom. The very faintest hint <clears throat> of a brown. Nice caramel head. Well, it was. It was. It dissipated. dissipated quickly on mine. Um, the alcohol on this, I believe, is 13%. Yeah. No. Wow. Sorry. No. Excuse me. I was way high. It's only 8.3%, which is a lot lower than I thought. But let's go get a nose on it. Let's do it. Wow. A lot of roast. Yeah. It's it, uh, <clears throat> chocolatey, though. Like a, I'm getting, first and foremost, a lot of coffee out of it. Um, yeah, I am getting a lot roast. of the uh, sharp, dark baker's chocolate. Yeah. And then a ton of the roasted malt as well. No real fruit. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm getting there. A little, bit of, a little bit of those dry, dark fruits. Yeah, I'm not getting that. Um, right. Yeah, a lot of coffee, a <laughs> lot of roasted malt, a lot of dark, sharp baker's chocolate. Um, a little bit of booze at the end, but not, yeah. not anything too major. Sorry. Try make a noise. Okay. We're gonna taste it? Yeah, I suppose we should. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stout season. Um it's real sharp. Um it is 60 IBU, so it's not, I mean, it's a little hoppier than I thought it was going to be, but you don't really get any of that. Most of the um, bitterness right up front is going to come from the uh, coffee acidity. Um, after that, that and the deep roast. Yeah, after that, I'm getting more mellow coffee, more of a roasted flavor. Um, I'm getting a lot of the sharp baker's chocolate more towards the front and the middle. Um, after that, though, I'm getting all roasted malt, tad bit of coffee, not a lot. Um, and it really fades off rather quickly. It's not a dry that's, beer. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, a lot. I'd say probably 85, 90% of your flavors at the front. Um, then really fades off the back rather quickly. I can admit, the way it clings to the side, I mean, it clears out pretty quick. Yeah. But it's a thinner beer than I would have thought. Not thin, a little, in, a, yeah. not thin in a bad way. It's just it doesn't carry... The way it smells, I would expect it to be a little sweeter, and it doesn't carry all that residual sugar with it. So, I don't know. Like I said, it, it is rather bitter, and, it, and yeah. it's not because of the hops. It's just 
the malt, the coffee, all that stuff. And, and the reason they call it a, the breakfast stout is because they do use tremendous amounts of coffee uh, in the in the actual beer. I believe they use oatmeal. some oatmeal too. Yeah, right? but since the kids eating oatmeal. Yeah. Although, like I said, he and said it it's says, rather thin. Double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting a ton of the chocolate for saying double chocolate and in the oatmeal. I'd expected the body to be a lot thicker, and it's and it's yeah. really not. And well, and since it's a baker style chocolate, I mean, I'm getting that bitterness. No, you are. Whether yeah. you go, whether you go, chocolate or double chocolate, you're not going to really notice. Whereas if you'd gone a milk chocolate, it'd be creamier probably. This is just bitter upon bitter. So which, if you do smell this, I kind of get some of that. And and it's not in here whatsoever, but I'm getting a little bit of that chili pepper in there. You know what I mean? And and it's not because it's in there. We did have uh, a bomb off camera a little while ago. Pretty Maybe well. it's sticking around, but I'm getting a little bit of that in there. In the... Okay. Um. So let's go to the ratings, and I have beer advocate or rate beer. Excuse me, pulled up here. Um. For the style, they're going to give this a 99, and it is in the imperial stout. Uh, category and then for overall they're going to give it a hundred. Where are you at? Actually in style I'll go a nine. Again I think mouthfeel is a little thinner than I would expect and the flavors are fairly singular and dissipate quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll go nine as well. It, it, and for me, the only reason it's not a ten is because I'd like it to be thicker and silkier, um, and maybe accentuate the chalk a little bit more. The chocolate, excuse me, a little bit more. If you're gonna say it's a double chocolate oatmeal imperial stout or whatever it says, I expect to get a lot more of the chocolate, and I'm not. Yeah. Whether it be Baker's or milk chocolate, it's it's not there enough for me for you to say it's a double chocolate anything. Um, no, it's a solid beer though. Uh, overall, that's really the only negative comments that I would have. Yeah, for it. it is solid. Um, let's go to overall. Overall, I'm gonna drop it. What did I give it a nine? Give I'm gonna drop nine. it to an eight and a half because I I think if I want an imperial stout, it's imperial, wasn't it? Or is it just stout? imperial? Which is weird because it is a little bit lower. It's yeah, about that's, that's what I thought. Which for an imperial is normally nine is generally the cutoff. But but if I'm gonna go with an like imperial three. stout, I like to have some of that that up. Uh, dark fruit that comes through more and gives it almost that licorice almost smell to it and uh, I don't know like a little sweeter and uh, a little more yeah fuller yeah in body and thicker in mouthfeel mm. um, for me I'm gonna leave it at a nine I'm not gonna drop it down because there's really no reason to um, I will play off of what he said. I wish it was more velvety in the mouth feel and had just, like I said, a tad more uh, chocolate flavor. Um, the alcohol is is a little bit lower than I thought it would be for an imperial stout, but to me that just means you can drink more of it, uh, <laughs> which I'm fine with. And do I go out of my way to buy this? Yes, I look forward to the winter time it a is. lot for this beer. Um, and I'm definitely hoarding some of it. Uh, in a cellar type thing I'd be capacity, yeah. Interested to try an aged. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely aging quite a bit of it. Um, that being said, yeah, nine. Is it a ten? No, because there's it's just it's not entirely there. Um, I'm gonna pick this one though. If I go out for a stout, even it being just seasonal, if it was year round, mm -hmm. I'd pick this sure. one over a lot of them. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it would benefit from a whiskey barrel too. I think it would. Yeah, really which if really you uh, raise that if level. you have a KBS or a CBS and you want to send it to us because you like us a lot, uh, that'd be real cool. I don't care if you like us. If you yeah. just want to send it, we'll, yeah. we'll trade. Oh, we're even trade. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, solid beer overall. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to Two DG. Smash that like button. Smash it. Helps the channel a lot. Yeah. We'll have a conversation with you too. Hey, we like appreciate it. <laughs> See you later. So we can just get started. As soon as he's done with his drum solo. <laughs> <laughs> Make up!
<laughs> Shiny Bally. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Two Douchey Guys. Soup. Another beer review just for you. Can we do it over? No. All right. <laughs> oh, you're actually okay. Mm -hmm. Figured we'd go with the banter, but okay. Three, two. Well, we're stealing from that guy. So. <clears throat> 